All right, today we're going to be removing the springs in the upper strut mount to see how bad the struts were worn out because we got a complete strut with new springs and mounts. But just out of curiosity, we just want to see how bad the struts were. I happen to like these spring compressors because they have these locking mechanisms. So you don't have to worry about the compressor slipping off the springs. Alright, so they're 180 degrees apart from each other. Now we can put some compression on here. Okay, what we want to do is just remove the upper strut mount without the springs flying off. So now we'll loosen up the, uh, the upper nut that holds the strut mount. Okay. This bump stop is, sh is shot. Alright, there's good pressure on the way down. And the rebound is a little bit on the slow side. But it's still rebounding, so there's still gas in here. But it looks like it's stopping. So that's it. It stopped right here. So you can say this struts worn out. So this is the bellows that protects the strut stem from corrosion. This hasn't cracked yet. So this one seems to be a little bit okay. This is the upper spring seat. Nothing to wear out here. This is the upper bearing, which sits on top of the spring seat so that the strut can move left and right. Seems to be okay. And this is the thing that wears out and makes noise. It's hard to tell. I don't see any cracks. This is the factory original. This is the upper strut mount. This is the spring seat. This is the bearing so that the strut can rotate back and forth like this. Then this is the bellows that goes underneath it like that. When we put the new struts on, the car was riding a little bit higher. So I guess you could say these springs were worn out, which would be reason enough to, to get a complete strut instead of just replacing the strut. If you want to know what's the proper amount of tension to put on these spring compressors when the spring separates away from the upper spring seat or the lower spring seat then you know that you relieve tension on the spring that applies constant pressure to the upper strut mount But since we're just taking this strut apart, I just want to take the majority of the tension off. I don't have to take all of it off. All right, now I'm going to disassemble the strut. And the bumper stop has totally disintegrated. It's like it's gone. See, there's nothing there. Now this is shot because you got, you got that break in the rubber. This is the remnants of the, the bumper. This, may, this one may be shot. It's moving around just a little bit. All right, let's see how that these are. Now, if these were new struts, I won't be able to push this down with my hand. 
Yeah, this is shot. No more gas pressure. Oh, and this is your lower spring seat. So, if you're thinking about doing a strut replacement, you may have to re replace the spring seat, the strut bellows, the upper strut mount. If your springs have lost their tension, you may have to replace the springs. So, you're just better off buying a whole new strut. Yeah, and this thing, the bumpers, it just totally dissolved. It just disappeared. Before replacing the suspension strut on your car, you should check for wear of other components that make up the strut assembly. If these parts aren't replaced, the new strut may sag, make noise, or prematurely wear out. The struts being dissected in this video came off the front end of a Toyota Camry. It's different from the rear struts in that it rotates with the wheel. The upper strut mount assembly acts like a ball joint. There's a bearing containing the top portion of the strut mount assembly that is sandwiched between the spring seat and strut mount. Front suspensions with both upper and lower control arms, like on Hondas, do not have these types of rotating struts. They are fixed like the rear end struts on a Camry. The things that can wear out in the strut are the strut stem bumper, which protects the strut stem from over compression. The strut mount rubber vibration dampener, when weakened, will cause a rattling noise. The strut bellows or boot, which protects the strut stem from dirt and moisture, and a weak strut spring that won't keep the proper ride height. If one or more of these strut components needs to be replaced and are to be included in the strut replacement, you may be better off just buying a complete strut, also called a quick strut, with all new components. Companies like Monroe, Moog, Gabriel, KYB, and Saks come close or exceed the quality of original factory struts and come with a decent warranty.